Okay, so I'm just going to be using the pentatonic again. <coughs> vibrato on a string bend. Now you need to get it up to pitch, and then you need to try and get that vibrato in there. Now your thumb's really crucial. Your thumb really needs to hook over the top of the guitar neck there on the bass string. Um, and your fingers, again, come in at an angle. Don't ever go straight up, because it will just pop out, and you'll lose it. Um, again, we're using distortion. So what I'm going to do is hook my thumb over and I'm going to bend up the 8th fret to the D note, which is on the 10th. So I'm going to go like this. Once I've got it to pitch, you just don't let it come out of pitch, but just do that really quickly. Like push your fingers up really, really quickly with the, um, with the string. Um, so I'm going to get it to pitch and I'm going to do some wide vibrato. Now if you let it drop out of pitch, you know, you're going to get that, which you will do, first of all, because it's quite hard to, to get that control and, and get the power in your, in your hand. You know, your neighbours are going to hate you. Mine did. You know, but, you know, whatever. Use earphones or something like that. You know, don't crank it <laughs> unless you don't like them. Right, so I'm going to do the uh, E string, vibrato. And then I'm going to do the B string, vibrato. And then the G. So I ended up with some string vibrato there. Um, I'm doing this today. We can transpose it up to the 12th fret, which will give us E minor pentatonic, which is a lot of lot of metals playing there. It's quite cool to play up there. You can uh, you can put two shapes of the minor pentatonic together. I'll just drop my pick. You can put two shapes of the minor pentatonic together um, and do like a three note per string thing, which is quite cool, like Kirk Hammer does from Metallica. So I'm gonna, if I just transpose that to E, sounds quite cool, man. You know, you get that real high pitch, you do it up here in the octave position, which is A minor. So you start here on the fifth, you can go up an octave, which is on the 17th. You just repeat that. Right, so I'll do it again. That sounds quite cool. You know? Um, so if we just go back to the E, E. So remember what I said, the pentatonic shapes are movable, so you can change them into different keys. It all depends on your, what you call the root notes, which are the notes of the chords or the scales you're playing over. Um, so if I go yet again E, so uh, 15th fret, bend up, whole step. It's somewhat easier to do it up there, you know, if you try doing it down here, it's, it really digs into your fingers. Um, again, the 15th on the B. And then the G. So what I did there with the uh, 12th fret, just bent down. If you remember our kind of microtonal bend. You know, some wide vibrato on there. It sounds quite cool, you can do like, you know... Do a slow vibrato or wide vibrato. Put a pinched harmonic on it, which is something else I'll get into. I'm doing for time quite limited. Right, so yeah, so we started with doing it in A. Practice up there because it is harder, it will strengthen your fingers better. And then we can do it in the octave position, which sounds cool, which will be starting A minor pentatonic on the 17th fret. Um, and then I transposed it to the 12th fret, which was E minor pentatonic. Which, like I said, you know, most, most metal you know, is, is in E. Um, it's really cool to play it up there, and you get some... So again, just quickly, I could bend... Um, so I did the 15th up to the 17th whole step. You can actually bend the 14th up to the, uh, the 15th. That sounds a bit, bit naff, because I'm not playing to chords. Um, what you can also do is a minor third bend, just quickly, which is three frets, which really does cut into fingers. So if I bend the 14th, the pitch will be the 17th, which is an A note. So I'm bending an F sharp to an A, which gives you a minor third. So I'm going to bend up until you hear that. And then you can vibrate like that, which sounds quite cool. 
then you can do your guitar face because it bloody hurts. Okay, cool. So, like I said, any questions, just uh, just message me and I'll try and you know, fit them in there and answer your questions. What I'll do eventually, like I said, is try and get some tab up on the screen um, if I've got some time to do that. I'll find the time to do it. Cool, man. Take it easy.